Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. I know we have St. Patrick's Day coming up, so I'm gonna show you how I do a Guinness steak and potatoes. We've got a flat iron steak that I'm gonna marinate, get it over some hot coals, cook it perfect medium rare. Then I'm gonna make a mushroom Guinness reduction sauce that we're gonna serve over the top, paired with some roasted potatoes right on the smoker. It's gonna be fantastic. Let's get to cooking. So for this recipe, I chose a flat iron steak. It weighs just over two pounds, and I really like cooking the flat irons. They're inexpensive cut of meat. Comes from the Chuck area. It's really lean. You don't have to do a whole lot of trimming. I cleaned it up just a little bit, but for a weeknight dinner, for a family, it's a perfect cut of meat. You can cook one steak, they cook really fast, just don't overcook it. First thing I'm gonna do to this is get it in a marinade. I'm just gonna drop this steak down in a zip top bag, gallon size. For the marinade, I've got 12 ounces of Guinness beer, a little bit of Worcestershire, a little bit of soy sauce, and some of my AP rub, some of that salt, pepper, and garlic. That's all that's going in it. We're gonna make sure the liquid covers the steak, squeeze all the air out of the bag we can. Now we just wanna let this flat iron hang out in the marinade for about an hour. Let it soak up all those flavors. You can put it right back in the refrigerator or if it's a cool day, just let it hang out right here on the counter. While it's soaking, I'm gonna go in and we're gonna make that mushroom Guinness reduction sauce that we're gonna serve over the steak when it's done. I'm starting with some butter in a saute pan. We're adding shallot, a little garlic, and some mushrooms. We'll just saute those for about three minutes until everything's softened up. Season it with a little bit of black pepper and salt. Then it's time for the liquid. We're gonna add some Worcestershire, some soy sauce, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna reduce that for about two or three minutes over medium high heat. We're really wanting to cook the flavors out of that liquid and bring it down a little bit. To finish the sauce off, I'm adding that Guinness beer. That's what's really gonna give it some flavor. It'll bubble up when you first First put it in there, but then it's gonna thicken up. It's gonna concentrate as that heat hits it. Now, just to finish it off, after about seven to eight minutes, I'm gonna add a little bit of a cornstarch slurry and then just let it come to a slight boil. Stir it really good and take it off the heat. The sauce is gonna thicken at this point. It's gonna smooth it out and it's gonna be fantastic on top of the steak. So we got the sauce made, now it's time to fire up the Weber. I'm just using a chimney with some Royal Oak natural briquettes. Got a couple tumbleweeds in the bottom. Get the coals good and hot. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna dump them into the Weber, put our grate down with our grill grate on it, and get the lid on and open the vent 100% open on the top and the bottom so we got air flowing through it. When the cooking surface is about 500, 550 degrees, we'll be ready to cook this flat iron. So the flat iron's been soaking about an hour. It's time to get it out of the Guinness marinade. Set it right back on our little tray. But I wanna get a little seasoning on the outside of the flat iron. And I'm just gonna use my steak rub. You could use whatever you want. If you got a favorite seasoning here, salt and pepper would be fine. You just don't wanna overdo it. We want the flavors of that Guinness, the Worcestershire, the soy, all that to be the main foundation in the steak. I'm just adding a little rub for texture. I'm not going too heavy. But I like the steak rub because it's real coarse. It's got some different peppers and herbs, seasonings inside it. We're gonna pat that in. It's gonna kind of make a crust on the outside. Of course, we'll flip it over, do the same thing to the bottom side. That looks good to me. You don't wanna go too heavy here. Just trying to get some texture on the outside. For the edges, you can just kind of pat them in the excess on the pan. And we're just gonna let it sit here, air dry just for a few minutes while those grill grates get hot. Then it's gonna be time to get this piece of meat on some fire. All right, the Weber's good and hot. I've got those grates right at 500 degrees. That's where I wanna be anytime I'm grilling a steak. And we're just gonna take this flat iron and put it right on the grill grates. You can hear that sizzle start. I'm gonna give it a gentle press down. And I'm gonna get a timer going. We're gonna cook it about five minutes on each side. Two and a half minutes, I'll rotate it. Let's get the lid back on, get our timer set. All right, two and a half minutes. It's time to give this flat iron a little twist action. I'm just gonna use my grill grate tool, slide it right up under it, rotate it a little bit, press it back down, still get that sizzle. Get our lid back on, set our timer for another two and a half minutes. All right, we've been a total of five minutes on our flat iron. Now it's time to flip it over and let's cook this side. Looks beautiful. Got that real pretty cross hatch. We're gonna put the lid back on and get a timer set, do the same process on the back side. All right, let's do the last twist on our flat iron. Press it down, make sure we get those good grill contact. Lid right back on. We're gonna go a final two and a half minutes. All right, that final two and a half minutes and we should be there. I'm gonna grab my thermopin just to make sure I'm seeing what temperatures. I'm looking for it to be 120 to 125, no more. Right there, you can see 123, 122. That's perfect. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get this flat iron off. I mean, check that out. That flat iron looks absolutely beautiful. Now it needs to rest for about seven minutes. Then I'm gonna slice it up, top it with that sauce. I can't wait to try it. So while I've got the flat iron rested, let me tell you about these roasted potatoes we did. I just tossed them in a little bit of olive oil, seasoned them with kosher salt, put them on our baking pan and threw them in a 400 degree pellet smoker. They cooked right at an hour, but you're just really cooking them until they're fork tender. Now I'm gonna finish them off with a little bit of melted butter, some fresh parsley, and just a pinch of AP, that salt, pepper, garlic. What I'm gonna do is drizzle them, and then I'm just gonna kind of toss them around gently here. That's gonna give them a little buttery note. These little Yukon Gold potatoes, you can't hardly go wrong with them. We've got them buttery, we've got them seasoned up. They're gonna be fork tender, and we're gonna serve these with the steak. So now, the steak's rested about seven minutes. That's all it needed. So I'm gonna take it off the pan here. We didn't lose much juice at all in it. And I'm just gonna slice this flat iron into thin strips. Remember, we're serving it family style. So you can cut it as thick or as thin as you like, I love them just cut kind of thin where the bite just melts in your mouth. But you can see if I pull out a slice of this, we've still got that good medium rare doneness on it. That's exactly what you want. And any time that you're cooking, you know, an inexpensive steak, you don't want to take it too far. You want to keep it about this doneness here, no more than medium. That looks perfect to me. I mean, the, got a little bit of that juice running out of it. Tender bites. I mean, I'm going to get me one while we're in here. Mm. Just melts in your mouth. Cooked medium rare like this, sliced real thin. Flavor's phenomenal. I know it's gonna be good when we get it topped with this sauce. We finish cutting it up here. And just take your time, slice all the way down the steak. I like using a long roaster knife for doing this because you can get one stroke all the way through. And it looks fantastic. I'm not sawing at it, I'm just drawing the knife through the meat. Ooh. How about one little edge bite? All that flavor. So I've got just a flat cast iron pan. I'm gonna transfer our steak over. Kind of spread it out, make it look nice and neat. We're gonna take our potatoes, move them around to the outside, put them on both sides. That looks good. Any extra butter, let's just drizzle it right over those potatoes. Oh man. Now we've got it plated. We're gonna dress it with that rich Guinness Stout mushroom reduction sauce we made. And you can go as little or as light as you want. I'm just gonna run some right down the middle of our slices. You can serve the excess on the side, but I want some of those mushrooms on it. Some of that shallot, that garlic that cooked down. That's exactly what you want. I mean, that looks absolutely fantastic. Don't you just wanna dive into it? Just gonna finish it off with a little bit of parsley fresh over the top, just for some pop. That looks good to me. That's what I call a Guinness flat iron with roasted potatoes. I can't wait to try this steak. I'm gonna go right in here, get me a piece out. Perfectly medium rare steak. That sauce just brings a whole nother element. You get the flavors of that Guinness, kind of the dark, almost coffee-esque flavor. It cooks down, it reduces down with the Worcestershire and soy and the mushrooms, the onions, all that great stuff, the shallot we put in it. But I'm gonna get a bite with a steak and a potato. I know the potato's tender. I mean, you can see the fork goes right in it. Let me cut one of these potatoes. Cause you gotta try the steak and the potato, right? Mm. That's the perfect bite. Finish it off with one of the mushrooms. If that's not St. Patrick's Day, I don't know what is. You gotta try this one. You can do it with any cut of steak. You don't have to use flat iron. I just love that versatility and the cost of a flat iron. It's really a cheap piece of meat that goes a long way. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Shell and I will do a recap on our podcast every Friday of this recipe and all the other delicious stuff that we're doing. Y'all check that out. We'll see you next time. Man, with these mushrooms and the potato and the steak. Mm. I'm gonna do an Irish jig for you on this one, Shell. Gotta get me a cold Guinness to go with it too. That's a wrap.